Just as we were all recovering from the festive season, Father Christmas strikes again. Or should I say Father Mshulos, also known as Jacob Claus. Number one rained down with some serious promises in Nell Strait at the ANC Manifesto Conference. The elves in Ganja must be working overtime because Mshulos promised to fill the South African stocking with six million job opportunities. But isn't Mshulos the same person who promised us 5 million jobs by 2020? Now he's promising 6 million jobs by 2019. Hi, man. Hi, Mshulos. Are those jobs are actually temporary in nature and give people exposure, training for them to move on to permanent jobs? He also promises to fire corrupt officials. Yes, Mr. President, that's what I like. Anina Ayumongameli Oyisela. Anina Ayumongameli Oyatata Imalizeli. Wayogwaka Umuzwake. Asisabi Luto, we have nothing to fear. Well, that's confusing. I guess Tulima Donsala has been wasting her time all along. Huh? Tuli, just take your retirement package and, yeah, go on holiday, something, you know, because you're wasting everyone's time. There are no corrupt people in South Africa. But like I better went on to bash Jacob Zuma's haters. Mm? Bash all the haters, mama. These haters are them time. Take up. Nah, nah. Kukona, abangena ku 2014. Betabangu guti. Bane basis bati umoga meluwe to must resign. We are saying over our dead bodies. See what happened there? Policy talk is in English and all the dissing is in Zulu. You know what that means, South Africa? Do you know what that means? It can only mean that it's election time, baby. Election time. Da -da 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 -da. Ding -ding. Election time. Ding with growing disillusions amongst ANC members, Kosatu rifts, scandal for days, and new additions to the ballot paper, this election is going to be of biblical proportion. The chief Talitabi in charge wasted no time kicking off action by playing Bob the Builder right in Jacob Zuma's backyard, finally putting those woodwork skills to good use. Built by members of the Economic Freedom Fighters for Standiwe Shlangwane and her children. Thank you. Thank you. Mara Julius, the house is unfinished. How are you going to be handing over houses that are not finished? Now we see where you failed your woodwork. But Julius didn't stop there. He went on to attack the president very subliminally. Any African who stays in a beautiful house like that and his neighbors stay in shacks must be ashamed. Yo, yeah. Jacob, that was dedicated to you, Baba. Dedicated to to you, but Jacob could not be bothered. He was relaxed as ever, relaxed, chilling, having a good time. You know, Nkanda is very famous these days. It has become very famous. Not to be outdone by EFF's one house, the ANC also threw some bricks at their problem. We've built houses in a number of places, not just uh, in Nkanda. We built a house of an old lady who was 110, between <coughs> Esho and uh, <clears throat> so if, if we're to count the houses we've built, there are quite a number. And then we built another house for a woman who was 343 years old. And then we built another house for a three-year-old. I mean, Mr. President, it didn't end there. The ANC struck back by trying to renovate a house in Malema's neighborhood. And not just any house, Juju's grandmother's neighbor's house. The neighbor declined, of course, saying that, no, me, I'm an EFF member. I can't do these things. Listen here, lady, we don't know who you are, but if Jacob and his people offer to renovate your house, you better jump on the offer. Because if there's one thing the president can do, him and that guy can renovate, man. He can renovate, man. Who are you to decline Jacob's renovation? I mean, really, who are you? Don't come play here, man. You are playing. News that moves. ENCA.com.